We begin, though, with a mother accused of trying to kill her young daughter, that child only four months old. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Christine Noel. Now we are getting disturbing details about this alleged attack. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live outside of the Harris County Jail downtown with more on this. Brittany, good afternoon. Yeah, Christine, these are disturbing allegations. As you said, we are learning that the mother is accused of attempting to smother her four-month-old baby girl. She is now charged with attempted capital murder. Why don't you die? Why are you still alive? This charging document paints the picture of the alleged actions and words by a mother to her four-month-old daughter inside of this apartment. According to court documents, the mother's live-in boyfriend said 22-year-old Meredith Dean punched her infant child and told him that she, quote, wanted to throw the infant against the wall. Documents show the boyfriend told Harris County officials he later observed Dean put pillows and blankets on top of the baby and then sit on top of those blankets and pillows before he pulled her off. We were unable to reach the boyfriend for comment, but the documents go on to accuse Dean of attacking the boyfriend the next day when he went to drop the child off at daycare, where a witness noticed that the infant was trembling and shaking. The boyfriend alerted employees about the alleged incident, who then contacted Harris County Sheriff deputies. The daycare supervisor tells me that this is the note that went home to parents explaining the incident. According to deputies, Dean was sent to the Harris Center for an evaluation after she made statements about self-harm. While in custody at Harris Center, documents state that she told deputies she was, quote, frustrated a couple of days ago when her mother refused to help her care for her child. Later adding, she was sorry for hurting the baby. The infant was taken to Texas Children's Hospital in the Woodlands, where doctors found no signs of injuries. Now, we did check in with DPS, and Dean does not have a criminal record. Now, we have learned that she has recently been booked here into the Harris County Jail. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.